PGS testing is 98% accurate. This means that while PGS test is a very good test, it's not perfect, and there remains some inaccuracy with PGS testing. For example, an embryo could be diagnosed as normal when in fact it's abnormal. There's also a chance that an embryo could be diagnosed as abnormal when in fact it's normal and would be a good candidate for transfer. The chance of this happening is low, but we can't rule it out because of the way that embryo testing is performed. Remember, only a few cells are tested and we can't look at the whole embryo. An assumption is made that the cells that are tested represent the whole embryo. In the vast major majority of the time, this assumption is correct. Occasionally, this assumption is not correct and that can lead to a misdiagnosis. Because of this chance of misdiagnosis, prenatal testing is recommended to follow up with the PGS test results. This means that when you're pregnant, you should talk to your OB about the genetic testing that's available to you to check for chromosome abnormalities. You can discuss with your physician that Down syndrome was tested for on the PGS test, but remember that the PGS test is not perfect and follow-up testing is recommended to confirm the results of PGS testing. There are different types of prenatal tests that are available to you, and you can speak with your physician about which test is most appropriate for you. iGenomics recommends amniocentesis or chorionic villus sampling, or also called CVS sampling, because these are the best tests to do diagnostically. Their accuracy is greater than 99%. However, not everybody wants to do amniocentesis or CVS because these are considered invasive testing and there is a slight increased risk of miscarriage. This risk is low, but not zero. There is an alternative type of testing that's non-invasive. The non-invasive testing does not have an association with an increased risk of miscarriage. However, the non-invasive tests are not as good diagnostically and there is also a chance of a false negative or a false positive result.